we have code zero and the engines because we have light winds from behind so we would be super slow sailing and we have 40 miles to go to the next island so but we're motor sailing you see this code zero is great you just open it and it's gonna help you with some speed and less fuel we have all the rods out we're catching for dinner the so ones here and the ones on the other side hopefully we catch something good i was thinking maki maki in the worst case tuna five minutes later we have a fish of course it's hers rod it's not mine Mine rod didn't catch anything, of course. Which is good, because then I don't have to clean the fish. The winds kind of shifted, they went down. They're still pushing us, but the sail was just banging. So now we went into the real cruising mode. And now we have this uh, thing, this Bimini up. It's not original, see it's all aftermarket and i love it see it does the job perfectly good could be even bigger so now we can sit here with no hat we have a good breeze and why this is to you know when the sun goes low it's not burning you although now it will be better without because the wind is coming from here it's okay we're in the shade it's kind of cool up there i love fly bridges so now we have our own fly bridge and the shade and I'm happy like this what do you think I think it's wonderful it's a great place to be looking out over the ocean I love it <laughs> so this is before and after this is uh, after how tuna sandwich looks like mom <laughs> yes this is good well we're still fishing uh, there's nothing on the rod but the cool thing is so we did put the sail down, but we have one knot current pushing us uh, towards this cat island. You know, when you're sailing, very rarely you have currents helping you. It's usually the opposite, but on this trip now for a couple of weeks, we've mostly had uh, good currents. So you can see now our speed is 7.2, but speed, speed for the water is around six knots. So we have a pure one knot current pushing us towards the cat island and we have the following winds so we have 10 knots of wind pushing us there so well it would be better if we sailed but you see it's just fine like this we made it to cat island so we'll go in here there's a marina and the fuel dock and the cool thing is you see when you come from deep ocean look at those colors down there look at that blue and then the hole behind the island is very shallow and you have this uh, blue color, super cool. Coming hot to the marina. You can see how much the, all the stuff is going in. They don't mess, they don't wanna mess it up here. We have successfully docked here. But there's loads of current but it's a very nice dock uh, the gallon was uh, seven something dollars uh, a good place to you know refuel very easy it's a good dock and the marina is just behind there and i kind of like this place already it's nice here we've docked at the marina and now they're taking our admiral with a car to pay because it's so far away but this is the service you get See, they just take you around. Oh no, they're going there. Maybe they hijacked him. Hey, why are they taking them here? I thought this is the marina. Well, we're the only ones in this marina. I kind of like it here. I kind of like it. Nice place. It feels like we're the only people on the island. Definitely in the marina. And then there's a resort with a pool. Doesn't seem like there's anybody. Oh, but there's the coconuts. See the coconuts on the tree? Uh, this one's good, but how do they get up there? It seems like nobody likes coconuts. You see, there's loads of them on the floor. 
Then there's more there, so I guess nobody's gonna be bothered if we take a couple. Well, it's nice here. It's like, again, nothing special, but it's a nice marina. Nice place, it's calm, good service, nice people. And they even have a phone. See, they have a phone. Uh, this is where we came in through. This is the fuel dock. It's a nice fuel dock, you can get diesel, gas. You know, like this. Be aware of sharks, please do not hook sharks, race. And I've seen some sharks earlier, and they said they were the lemon ones. So they're the angry ones. Oh, there's a apple. Oh, they're in here. More sharks. Should come out here. Okay. Well, there's quite a few of them. here I guess well you don't want to fall in the water right here so I just uh, found a ripe the coconut and this tastes so good and then this one is with more water this one a little water we got from this coconut and this one goes in the fridge Fun. <laughs> we got these bikes in the marina and these mangroves, they're nice, but that's where all those small mosquitoes live. And we've had a couple of these mosquitoes already now. On the bikes, it's okay. Active airport. Active airport. So you have to watch. Because you might just got hit by an airplane. There's one plane there. <laughs> hey! Go quickly. This is the resort. There's nobody. We're the only guests here. It's nice. Oh, it's a rocky beach. I haven't seen this for a while. Here it is, Cat Island. So we were uh, down here in the Nest Creek in the marina. And now we're just gonna sail up. We have winds like this. So it's gonna be a little bit zigzagging, but quite cool. And then we'll see, maybe finish here, maybe on little San Salvador. We'll see how the day goes. But the color of the water here, it's unreal. See down there the blue color? And we are going on the roof. See on this side it's just a deep ocean. And then on this side a perfect color. See all this area around the island when it gets shallow. It's so nice. Full sails going to Little San Salvador. This is the place where the big cruising ships come in. Actually one is just leaving. So Cat Island is just like this and because we have these good winds uh, we just decided to sail here to Little Salvador otherwise it would be upwind to the Cat Island which would be up there somewhere This is how the island looks like so we're gonna go here It says cruise ship anchorage is here So it should be a very nice bay protected from the north winds This is the big picture so we came from Exumas we crossed to Cat Island and then we just went on and we're gonna get to Little Salvador and then it's gonna be very close to Elutra just anchored here on Little San Salvador well we could have more sun it's actually setting you can see the bad weather just moved away so this is this popular place for the cruise ships and one just left probably another one coming tomorrow but I think this is a very nice bay like the colors are nice there's a nice beach, there's a pirate ship, so tomorrow we'll go research this area a little bit. I mean the anchorage itself, it's a good hold, it's a nice place. And we can actually see Elutra Island down there, so tomorrow is going to be just a short sail across. We got some coconuts yesterday, so I'm now working on my new method and it was, uh, it was quite successful. So the first thing is, you see, you have to get this guy out and this guy is in between here it's not easy to get him out but with a hammer what's this a chisel i was pretty successful so now we have a coconut so now they say 
So I have to figure out where the nose is. Okay. So we'll go for the biggest one, I guess this one. And I'm gonna use this to go through the coconut and then I can drain all the water. And I'm using this strainer so you know you don't get all the stuff in there, just pure water. So you just stick it in and this is actually very soft. So this is not a screwdriver, this is just this and it's so easy to go through these guys. Oh now I can hear. Yeah, I'll just go a little bit more. You can hear the air. So I'll just make a hole bigger so it's gonna be easier to drain it. Okay, so now this should work just like should get water out of here. It's kind of coming, but uh, I need to make this a little bit bigger. It's not going to have much water, so let's see now. Okay. We're getting some water. I can probably just leave it like this. Oh, we're getting very good quality coconut water. So this is an, uh, you know, like um, you get more water from the um, green ones and this one has more meat, so not much water. And this is our dinner. Look at this homemade sauce for the pasta. And I'm going to use this hot water to boil my coconut because then I can easier um, remove the flesh. So now I'm gonna boil this yeah. guy a little bit and I'm gonna cover him so he's gonna have a nice warm bath. So now the coconut has been having fun here for a while so let's take it out. I would do that. So now we're making an ice bath for our coconut so we put ice and water. You know Wim Hof, the ice man? You see, or the you know guys in Finland, well, that's what they do, they go hot and cold. So now this should, theoretically, expand in the other way. So what we're doing is, we have a shell and a coconut inside the meat. So by um, warming it up, you're gonna break the connection because they just, you know, expand differently. But now cooling it down, you do it the opposite way. Uh, so it just might uh, work, we'll see. Oh, he seems happy, like, after all that hot sauna. He's like, oh, this is cool, feels good. So you're saying spaghetti and toast is the best thing ever? The best ever. I've never seen it. So you put your spaghetti on the toast, like that, and then you eat it. Well, let's give it a try then. Right. Well, let's see if this is so good. Hey Jeff, this is great. <laughs> yeah. This is so good, Jeff. This is oh, it's really good. Oh, no way. There's nothing better. Than That's spaghetti better than a coconut or chocolate. Oh. <laughs> so the coconut is taking ice bath because we just want to make him happy. You know, Wim Hof, it makes you feel good. And if the coconut is gonna feel good, it's gonna be a happy coconut. It's gonna taste better. It's just like you know, happy chickens, happy cows. So it's gonna be a happy coconut. He seems like. He's like, ooh, look at the mouth. He's like, ooh, this is cold. Ooh, I like it. Now they say if it doesn't go nicely, just use a bigger hammer. Oh, it's cracked. It's yeah. cracked. Yeah. It's water from oh. the side. Huh? There you go. Okay, now I want to get a whole piece out, like they do on YouTube. Huh? 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 Getting there. And I think I've made it. Look. Ta da! So easy to get it out. Now we can just peel this with a potato peeler. And oh, it was so easy. And we still have a bra. So you like, tuck. Good job. Now I made it to the second one. So now we have two, two nice cups. Yeah. And two nice this. So I'm gonna use a potato peeler now. And I'm just gonna peel this. Uh, shell you could eat it but it's just gonna look nicer here they are two nice coconuts and uh well you can just take a bite and eat it mm, this one's even better it does taste like a coconut mm, i love it it tastes like coconut 
Tastes like coconut. Very good. So the whole point of this video is you're on an island, remote island, and there's only one thing you can bring on it. I would take a YouTube because I just saw this on YouTube and that's how I crack these uh, coconuts way more efficiently than yesterday when I spent a couple hours doing a big mess. Half Moon Bay, little Salvador Island. Cruise ship is here, so they didn't allow us to go on shore. So we're just gonna go now. It's, uh, it's a beautiful bay, but unfortunately no sun today. But a good anchorage, well protected. Nice place. We have a Code Zero full main sailing to Elutra from this little, what is the name, little San Salvador Island. So this is the Cat Island, little San Salvador, and now we're crossing to Elutra. Elutra is this big island, and we'll go around and then come to Nassau. And we're doing pretty good. So we have 15 knots of train speed, but because we're going downwind, the angle is apparently the angle is 110. 12 knots apparent wind speed doing 6.6 .6. so let's see for the nerds speed 6.6 6 in 11 knots of uh, apparent wind speed and it's not bad I mean once you put these big guys on this boat it actually sails but it would be nice to have even bigger main and an even bigger uh, code zero so we would be doing now 7 to 8 knots ship down there and here's our friend mr coconut like how are you he's feeling great he's sailing he's having fun so let's see how our wannabe vang is doing well you can hear all the squeaking from This is how it is when there's not enough wind and there's more waves than wind. The winds are from the side, some swell from the ocean. Hey, but that's sailing. I like this sail. Code zero. Makes us feel better and sail faster. So the main sheet you see when the winds are pumping the sail, we get all the noises from here. Whenever it moves, it's just because this is like a plastic, fantastic, no bearing uh, Mickey Mouse. See, that's not good. Sometimes uh, this line just go from the outside, uh, but this is definitely not a good solution. This is a really good coconut. It is really you good. Want more? I'm good now. And then we have more coconuts here. One's in the fridge and a couple more there. And I've never had such a good coconut. <laughs> That's a, a catamaran yoga. Hey. This is also walnut. This is healthy instead of yoga. We just picked up some speed while eating coconuts, so they're good for the speed also. So we're doing now 7 3, angle 100, speed 12, and we're doing 7.2 knots. It was actually almost 8 a couple minutes ago. But yeah, now I can say we are a sailing catamaran. We are sailing. How does it feel? It was great to be a sailor. I like moving without any uh, diesel fuel. We have landed on Elutra Island, but this time we're just on the most southern tip, east end point. And uh, actually we're just next to the lighthouse. It doesn't say it's an anchorage or anything, but uh, our good friend Vic recommended this. So we anchored here. We're filling up our dinghy with the uh, fuel. We're gonna check the anchor is holding and then we go ashore because this place is pretty nice we are liking uh, sun of course so we don't get all the good colors and down there they're building a big 
pier for the cruising ships but uh, the bay itself is just beautiful it's a good protection from northeast northwest winds so outside it's pretty wavy and rolly but we have really good protection here beautiful beach there like a great place to anchor not down there so there's not much space for many boats you know, maybe one or a couple boats can fit in here This is Earth. Hello, this is Earth. Planet Earth. <laughs> There's this path. Oh, it probably goes down to the lighthouse. Not much coconuts up here. There are small ones up there. They need a couple more months or a year to grow up. This is the windy side, but this is a nice place. Look at this. That's a beautiful place. And then here's a small path that you can get down to the other beach. Well, we have the sun. So now the colors are back. Look at this nice place. This is pretty cool. This looks like an old ship. A part of an old ship. Who knows what the story is. So this had to be an old well for the lighthouse. Oh, there's water in here. So who knows why this was for? Was this like an army or something? Watchtower? You can go higher up. Might be something like that. We are leaving our anchorage. It was just behind that pier. They're building for the cruise ships. So this uh, cruise ship company just bought the whole area. They're going to build a pier, the village. And they're going to build a pier on the Little Salvador. So that these big guys cannot, don't have to anchor, but they just go there and people can walk off. It's just easier. So now this is Elutra and we're just following. Uh, we have good, uh, good winds. But here on the chart, you can see we're following this south uh, part of Elutra. And then we're going to come in through this uh, mess. Shouldn't be bad. Well, it looks pretty bad. And we're gonna finish in this bay. So if I zoom out, you're gonna see the whole, oh, this is too much, the whole Elutra. Okay, so we're right here. Actually, we go around in here to this bay. The winds just dropped for no reason. Uh, but still, we're doing good speed. We're doing five knots with only 10 knots of apparent wind speed, angle 110. So our speed 5.2, wind 11 from 100. That's okay. These are the angles this uh, catamarans like it. And we're sheltered from the land. So there's no swell, just, you know, a little bit of waves. We just got a gust. So we're 74 speed, 16 apparent, 90 wind angle. Perfect conditions. Sails are happy. So this is what you can get out of these boats. 8 knots, 8-1 flat water 15 90 actually have a little bit of rain it's a gust from the from the cloud but the most important thing is that while we are sailing so fast in the kitchen we can make bread see you don't even notice these catamarans are so uh, like she doesn't even know it. it's like we're going fast or windy, see? We were going just fast. making a bread, just living a normal life, see, working in a kitchen while we are flying. 
it's so comfortable it's so quiet in here i was following my nose and i found this oh it's still warm oh there's nothing better than fresh uh, bread so now we just put the sails down because we gotta get through this narrow channel and it's straight up wind and then you add a little bit of things in these bumps and they are amazing oh. that's better than any cookies this is so good homemade good stuff this is a lutra island and we are now so we were sleeping just right here now we sailed went through the shallows and now we're here in rock sound harbor so i'm gonna turn the page uh, so it's here you can see very shallow uh, here's a small town That looks like a good hold. That's a good hold. Now we give it a another chance. Every platform deserves a second chance. So let's see if this time it's gonna work. Hey, work today. I guess because it's Friday and he's happy it's end of the week. No, it just sounds good on the camera. Hey, it's working. I love it when it works. And it just has his own mind. But see, it was very easy to put the dinghy out. It's not... Oh! That's why WD-40 is for. Nicely sheltered here. It's get hot. There's not much wind here. It's nice. I mean, the town itself is pretty quiet, but I like the area. So I'll boat out there another lap part. I'll catch around down there. So I kind of like it here, but it's so quiet. Like maybe it's really off season. There's a small market and it's open. Potatoes, onions, bananas. So name of this street is it's Fish Street. Another sign, Fish Street. And this is a hammerhead shark up there. And here it should be this ocean hole. See, it says ocean hole. This is the ocean hole. That's cool. It's like. Must be a volcanic hole. How deep is this? Oh, there's fish. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's a grocery store. Do you have yeast? Uh, Just packing some yeast? Right yeast. Lots of stuff. Cool. Wow, you guys have lots of stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can get chocolates. And this is a bar. This is frigates. So we're gonna have a lunch here. It's not bad at all. Palm trees, sand. That's one of our better parking jobs. Well, we have a, a smaller <laughs> problem now, so... <laughs> the dinghy decided to go dry and you see that's when you just go back to the bar have a couple beers and all the problems are solved you just have to drink until the water goes up and down yeah but you see no it's you see we had some uh, you see where the anchor is yeah, we would have been good if we had a back anchor if we had another anchor so the wind had to shift or something because the dinghy finished here somebody pulled it out because otherwise the dinghy should be in the water. <laughs> this is the Elutra. And we're gonna sail to Gardner's Harbor today. We have this wind, so it's gonna be a perfect sailing day. We just have to avoid these coral reefs and then we'll be okay. Something is not burning something. I'll just follow my nose. I'm just following my nose. Oh, the ninja is active. Oh, look at this. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> so we have to finish the old ones first. I just got my appetite going. Here's our master chef. <laughs> Here it is. It smells so good. We're almost at the governor's harbor and we have changed Genoa for the big code zero because the wind dropped. 
So we're here just a couple of miles from our destination on the Elutra Island. So it's like here in the middle of the Elutra Island. Oh, this is Nassau. Anyway, let's zoom in. And we have a pretty good speed. So we have uh, 12 knots of apparent wind speed, 120 angles. So it's a good angle. And we're doing around, so this is GPS is 6.7, but through water is around 6. So let's say we're doing a good 6 knots at 12 knots of wind speed at 115 angle. Could be sunnier. I love this sail. See these code zeros? They give power to these catamarans. They make them a sailing catamaran. Uh, you think Bahamas is just sun and beaches and everything nice? Well, this is also Bahamas in bad weather. So we're here, uh, Governor's Harbor, one of the biggest settlements around here. There's a couple houses here, couple there. I was expecting bigger, but then again, so our boats down there, dinghy. And here we are now in town. So let's see what's going on. Ah, oh, that's a cool car. Fish fry, every Friday, 6 p.m. Hey, is today Friday? That looks like it's Friday. So now we're in the center of the town, downtown. It's chicken time. How y'all doing? Oh. Hungry. Yeah, really good. Uh. Yeah. We'll get one of those. Yeah. Also, on the sides, I have peas and rice, crab and rice, mac and cheese, crab salad, corn and pop. So there's a chicken, and you just take a chicken. There's not a chicken. Yeah. And then the chicken goes on the chicken, and chicken goes here. So we're having chicken with the crab rice. What do you think? It's good? Mm -hmm. We'll see. How does it taste? It tastes good. It tastes like chicken with crab. There's a chicken. If I would be him, I would run away from this grill. He's safe. He's the rooster. Oh, you don't eat roosters? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's making sure the chickens are away. Oh, so he's yeah. here <laughs> making sure the chickens go away. He's the one that makes the more chickens. So yeah. there's more for the grill. Oh, so he invites chickens here. He's the here. chicken maker. So he's, he's the chicken maker. So is he trying to bring chickens here or scare he's, them away? You know, he's, he's looking for some females so he can make more chickens. <laughs> There's more chickens here. You can see chickens everywhere. It's like a big farm. Yeah, the dogs are around here. They're just chilled. Another cool guy. They're just, they're just chill. Our boat down there. Couple boats here. So now we're coming back. So here's the chicken, and it's not far to the grill. Mm. Wines, Bristol spirits. This is the the coolest place. Uh, this is the tall young kid. He works in here. Now you do like look like a sailors. Is it a rum? Actually, I like this box. This is like a sailors beer, product of Bahamas. Back to the boat. Oh, there's more dingus here, and there's a couple more boats coming in. Yeah, let's let's have a drink uh, under the coconut palm. Always check for coconuts; you don't want to have it on your head. Today is the first December, and there's oh, the Santa came here already. So how did he come here? There's no snow. He had to fly in here. Yeah, he just flew in here. The life in Bahamas is getting better and better. So our chef just made 
this. Just look at this. It's a steak from this grill we have here. And we're here in this Gardener's Harbor. And the wind just stopped. It's so flat. You see there's no wind, no waves. We're gonna have a great night. We're leaving Gardener's Harbor. Sun is still low, but today is gonna be a nice day. I'm sure very nice colors are gonna be in this bay. So we're gonna keep going uh, northwest. We're now sailing uh, along the Elutra Island and there's a couple of very nice places actually like there, right here. We have a very nice beach and there was one earlier. So here, this is really nice. And that earlier, oh here, in here, this was a very nice beach and this here was nice. So there's a couple of very nice uh, remote places around here. And then there's gonna be this place, which you go in, see it's a very narrow entrance. And I really wonder how this looks. So this one is very green, it's very hard to open. Not the best tools, but that's what we have. The ones that were more dry, they were way easier to open. We're coming now to this interesting hatch at Bay Harbor. You see, it's somewhere in the middle of Elutra, actually more further up north. And you zoom in, and it's this big bay. So this is the entrance. It's quite narrow, but it's you now big enough. That's pretty cool. Look at how big it gets. Super calm. Some boats, buoys. It's a cool place. And it's actually eight meters deep. This is like a very, very deep uh, harbor. You would think it's shallow, but this is deep. So there's a small entrance we came in. That's a serious, that's a lift that goes up and goes on the, you know, like, like on the wheels a lot of space to keep the boat out so you could like put your boat out here and just keep it this is a nice anchorage look at that rock so we're just next to this uh, glass bridge and this is a good place to drop an anchor and then we're gonna dingy around to that uh, palm beach When you have very strong waves from the other side then you get a big splash but today it's calm here's the water coming from the ocean we're sailing beautifully code zero full main see going kind of downwind and it's not bad at all you see we have uh, around 10 knots of trimming speed apparent is only eight but we're doing five point uh, around five knots so see this code zero is great the angle is good you see we have 100 degrees of angle eight apparent wind speed and we're doing around uh, five knots there's a little bit of current helping us but we're doing uh, five knots all this dust here see this pulley it's getting eaten alive because uh, i don't know probably there's no bearing so it should turn but I don't think it has any bearings so because you put a lot of pressure this is the main halyard then it just doesn't turn and just starts eating it you get all this dust and we're gonna go through it so it's pretty unserious this should be and I was strong uh, with good bearings like real stuff should be like this you see bearings big strong this is kind of Mickey Mouse another thing I don't like is it is stoppers I mean, we all know that you shouldn't pull a rope like this, right? Because the stopper is designed to pull in this way. We all know this. But then here, it's so natural, this is to move uh, the mainsail, left and right traveler. You see, sometimes you don't have much force, you just want to pull it by hand. You get this angle, and then you destroy this plastic, you see? And I would just say, this is a bad design. So this uh, stainless should go more out, 
that actually allows you to pull at this angle uh, without damaging the plastic again you just want to use this with low force but you're using it often you know just like you know taking the rope out and the same problem here this is the main sheet sometimes you just want to you know pull the main sheet by hand without the winch and that's like what you always do but then again you eat this plastic so it's not a good design and it's uh, it's not good this is the Lutra Island so we came all the way from here and just you know follow the coast and this is where the glass window was now we go through this uh, passage and uh, they say there could be a lot of current so if you go zoom in so we zoom in see we have this passage and they say that you can have uh, 10 knots of current so today we should have it in this direction as we're going up because the water is going down when the water goes down the water goes out when the water goes up then you can get 10 knots in this direction uh, so we'll see what we get, but it's actually a small passage between uh, all this and we can actually see it. So we're now getting very close to it. We started the engines a little bit just to give some speed motor sailing because we want to get there as soon as possible just to have the visual navigation as long as the sun is high. We're going to furl the code zero on and the trick is you want to go downwind, use some engines just you know to minimize apparent wind speed which now we have it at four and a half. You still want to have some wind, but now it's going to be so easy to furl it because you don't want to have, you know, too much wind. If you have a lot of wind and have to pull hard, it just doesn't want to furl that nice. So now because we made, we lowered the apparent wind speed by going down and having some uh, engines. You see, it just furls so nicely and you don't want to furl it tight, see? This is like, the more loose like this, this would be just like, that's what you don't do. And then the other person is there controlling that line with a hand. Just to get, you see the angle right, you step there. And then very easy. See, she can do it easily. And if uh, she has to struggle, you're doing something wrong. And now we're going to keep going just to wrap it more round just you know safety wise and then always make sure that these two lines you tighten them we put them on the cleat very tight because if it gets if it gets loose if the rope is not tangent it just might unfurl during the night in a storm so make sure you keep these uh, lines tight by attaching them to that cleat so how hard was this easy that was easy, that was easy. Yeah. and it should be easy because then the sail is happy we have attached it to the cleat we can notice uh, very quickly a mistake you see how loose it is so it shouldn't be that loose because then it can unfurl it has to be really tensioned and we achieve it by attaching one first and then tensioning the second more so we just go okay one is attached this is a good one. Oh no this one's good we just finish it And then you can go with this one from that side, from that side, like no, no, this. like this, yeah, just pull hard, pull oh, hard, that's what I did. yeah, and now you tie it, see, and now we have a tight rope, so the code zero cannot unfurl, it happens, it happens to professional skippers, they forget, just go, you open it in a strong wind, and here it goes the mast, once you've done this, always be careful on this rope so quickly it can fall in the water in the propeller and then you're gonna have some fun diving with the sharks you're gonna be cutting this rope off propeller where sharks are getting closer two and a half knots of current and you can already see you see like it's like a river going through what a great spot let's look at this water this is ridiculous uh, we have eight meters of depth here that's because the current you know going through here just you know eats the ground it's like a river and then just goes up there's probably half a meter depth there oh look at this place this is three knots. we have three knots of current now really getting close now four knots, four knots of current it's a current pride this uh, ship name is current pride and this island is the current island because 
this place has to be very famous for these currents look at we're just flying through this is the river we have five and a half knots of current right now we're on the river look at this it's just boiling can we hear six do we have six knots oh look five knots, five knots of current so we are through look at this place okay seems like we are through so the max was five and a half that's quite a lot that's a nice garage for the boat we're anchored close to this sailboat and this is a beautiful beach and now it's time for stand-up paddle boat is down there paddle board and look at this place this is so beautiful just look at this there's a small house behind a beautiful terrace just look at this water the rocks it's all here paradise That's a beautiful house up there. I just love these rocks. You know, it's nice to have sand, rocks, trees, coconuts, a bit of everything, and then you get a paradise. That could be a great place to build a small house. There's a grass, it's flat, perfect beach. Put a couple of coconuts, palms, like these guys here. This is a great air, look how calm it is. It's a little bit bigger house. It's nice. Just nice. Oh, there's a sea urchin. I haven't seen sea urchins for a while. Since Croatia. See, when you pull your stand up up, you do just this. And your paddle stays here. Isn't this cool? Another house. Look at this, look at the place they have, a couple buoys for a small boat, that's a great place, gets better. And today we're gonna go to Nassau, so we have 30 nautical miles to get to Nassau, and we're picking our anchor. Oh, that's smoking so this is the first day that we actually have loads of moisture on the boat you can see it's all wet and I was wondering why there's no moisture in Bahamas but today finally you see there's a lot of water on the boat but this is the first time we have but this one I frozen and I kept the water in so and now I'm gonna crack it open and I want to see if I can get the water out in frozen almost there okay and now this is a frozen coconut milk mmm that's good this is how it looks and this uh, Nassau, actually this is a New Providence Island Nassau is just the town, but everybody says Nassau, but it's actually a New Providence Island And then this is another island here, which is called the Paradise Island And that's where all the expensive stuff is, marinas, hotels and Atlantis Hotel, which is the big famous hotel everybody comes here to And we can actually see it already, it has this big arch It's like red with big arch just there and we're gonna anchor just next to it across you can see the bridge down there connecting big and small island one two three five big cruisers so one anchorage is possible down there there's actually one sailboat it's a nice beach uh, that's one option but we're gonna try the one further down there that's beautiful look at the nice water so that's the Paradise Island 
and then you turn around and there is no paradise island seems like a very good hold good ground in front of this marina close to bridges this atlantis hotel i mean i'm not gonna tell you this is a beautiful place to be it's okay it's interesting but we're just gonna go around spend the night here and then we're out of here we're on the bridge you can see our boat down there the dinghy cruising ship so we came in through here and this is off season I think in high season this is just like kaboom this is this Atlantis hotel the famous thing early morning we're leaving in Nassau and it's very calm and for the next two days we're just gonna have flat seas uh, the cruisers started coming in so Nassau you know I'm glad I've seen it but I don't think I'm gonna be back if there's not a big reason so we're just gonna go now towards Berry Island so 30 miles to get to the Berry Islands and that's where I'll probably come back because it should be way nicer so we're here uh, this is uh, Nassau and we're just gonna go across to Berry Islands this is Andros so Elutra, Nassau, Andros, Berry Islands are here and we're just gonna go here and then uh, see all this area so now we're gonna anchor here with the fish and just uh, go around to see what's going on that's a good way to put the boat ashore so this is not washed ashore it's pulled ashore it's like a small slip isn't this cool you just pull it out you don't have to worry and we're gonna anchor up here we just anchored here and this is beautiful look at the beach well, it's a private island but still we can go on the beach just look at this place so cool so nice see there's a nice place behind that is super cool There's the boat. Well, let's see, that's a nice beach. Not bad at all. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, this is, oh, wow. Just look at this. Oh, wow. That's a paradise and the water can go through. So I was there at that bridge. And the water goes through so you have a fresh water all the time and you have your own private lagoon i think this is the nicest island i've seen i could stay here look at this a private lagoon no sharks so i came from down here and i'm following look at this it just looks like paradise I mean, it really is. So there's smoke in there. I think they're burning the old palm trees just to make the island nice. This is probably the calmest morning we've had. Look at the water. You can basically see to the bottom. See this? So we're around uh, two and a half meters deep here. And you can just see to the bottom it's so clear so let's do a quick tour of the boat so here we have a barbecue and it's electric one it's uh, pretty good you know i like this one uh, then we have this dinghy it's a platform that whole platform goes up and down we have scuba tanks we have a bunch of solar panels up here so let's go around first uh, so we have these ladders for swimming and they're great because you have good handles 
and it's uh, quite easy to walk around this boat. We could use uh, more handles up here, see like this. Oh, this is the Starlink, this is the fast internet. But otherwise, you know, very easy to walk around the boat, not much uh, to hit. And then the best area is here, forward. Um, so it's underneath here, this is so good. So we have these extra chairs, pop-up chair. It's like the stand-up pedal, the same material. One of the best places on the boat is this area, you know, sitting area, it's under the roof, so there's a little bit rain or sun, you're sheltered, and it's uh, just great. So you can close this, now there's rain or open, so you can go down easier. And you have these big doors, uh, which I love, they're so good, they work really well. So you can go into the saloon, or come out very easy to close and open, see so just like this, and then close. And they give a lot of breeze, and then this area, it's just the best sitting area, it's so good. And the other side, and the good thing is, you see, when you're sitting here, you have a shade from the sun, and you're kind of protected, and then on the anchor, you see, usually the wind is from that side, when you're anchored, you have a nice breeze, because uh, on the back side, you wouldn't have uh, you know, a lot of breeze. And we have this uh, net, we have uh, Code Zero, and we have an electric uh, furling jib, uh, which is uh, doing pretty well. See, this one, you can have a manual override in case you lose uh, power. And then we get to another side. So we have these windows. This is a little bit annoying when they're open, it could fall in. We have this, oh, look at the water. You can actually see our chain, see our chain goes there and the anchor is there because so little wind that we're just hanging on the chain. We have this uh, holders for stand up uh, and it's uh, really good. So then going to the roof, we have stairs here and the boat is driven from uh, this location it's a pilot house the seat is uh, it's very comfortable you can put two people still i'm the fan of flybridge but it comes uh, at the cost of other things so overall uh, this area is pretty good i don't like uh, how the winches have the buttons so these buttons this is where you press so that the winch turns it has to be moved here to operate by hand and it would be nice to have a uh, double speed, so quick and slow. Here's our navigation. This boat has the Raymarine, throttles to Janmars, Helm, VHF. And uh, what I like the most on this boat, but this is the aftermarket, is this screen. See, it's a very firm. Usually you would just roll it and then it just loses shape and you don't see really well through. Now this one, you see, you just pop it up here with these guys. Click. And you have a nice view and so easy you know to put it up and down and again this one's so this is a very firm material and these ones are also quite firm so they roll very nicely usually you get you know the ones that are just too soft and it doesn't work they just lose the shape so to go on a boat on the top we use these stairs this is the life raft and then uh, so this is added after market it's the bimini so you can open to have a shade here and this is a great sitting area. It's strong, comfortable. This is a great place uh, to be on. So now we're on top, we have a good view. And this is what you do on Bahamas. A morning paddleboard in this uh, beautiful water. So again, this is the Starlink antenna, just works seamlessly, it's so good. We have these uh, solar panels, uh, six kilowatts. It's uh, a great thing to have. Actually, it's not six, it's three kilowatts. This one is three kilowatts. Now this sitting area, you see, it's just good. These seats work well executed, strong, uh, just great place to be. Now the original shade, it's probably not so good because uh, you know it's just not good for the winds. Now this one, you can have it also when sailing. Now accessing the main sail, maybe a little bit too high. See, it's... Uh, just like I'm a tall person and still, you see, it's kind of high. So not uh, that easy, but anyway, that's the thing with all the catamarans. So the good thing on this boat, we have, we, there is no self-tacking. So the mast is a little bit forward, just like it should be. We have a Genoa going all the way to the end, and this is the rail that control. I don't like self-tacking. And uh, you see many boats, catamarans, they put mast backwards self-tacking i don't find the boat to be balanced it doesn't work so this is the way to go a normal old school genoa and that's how it uh, should be so you see this is a huge surface area how's the pedal board oh amazing amazing it looks good from above here it, it, there's so much
much snorkeling along there you could do. It's just beautiful. Not a bad place to be. So we have all this uh, huge surface area, which is actually not, we don't really use it. It's a roof, you know, you could use it for something, but, and this is a great place uh, to lay. So overall, I would just say, you know, it's a, it's a good layout. Uh, it's probably the best layout uh, on this range of catamarans that I've seen so far. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, this is the Vank, the wannabe Vank. It basically just prevents the boom from falling down, if you forget, uh, you know, to tighten your boom lift. But it doesn't prevent boom from going up. But then, that's why it makes a squeak, because it's working all the time. And this joint just makes uh, crazy noises when you're sailing downwind. So it could be improved a little bit. So now let's go down. Oh, just look at this water. Are you checking our anchor? Yep. See, this is how it is in Bahamas. This area here, it's uh, it's one of the best uh, I've ever seen. It's a huge table. Uh, you can fit many people. I love the solution of uh, these seats. You see, they're like so good. And uh, some people put icebox chairs, but this is the way to go. This is really good. And it's big enough, wide enough, and I think this is how it should be. A great table, strong enough. You can fit, you know, plenty of people. And I like this detail, because you can swing it here. And then you can sit here and watch there. And everything is strong and firm, so it's not clumsy. You can just like, it's strong, you know, it's built to be used. And I like these screens, because you can close the boat. We remove these ones here. I'll just keep this one. But anyway, you can just close it all the way. So in bad weather, you can have a protected terrace. We have these holders for the fishing rods up here. And the dinghy. So this whole area, I really like. I think it's one of the best on any catamaran this range I've been. I like it. I like it a lot. So now going inside. Uh, this is again one of the best uh, layouts uh, I've ever seen. And it just works really well. So one of the things I like the most is uh, these doors. Because actually, they work. See, if you want to close this, just press one button. You close, you press this one, and you're done. And when you want to open, you just use the same button. You slide here, locks, press. And maybe you would be surprised why I'm saying this. It's just because most of the catamarans you cannot just open it's just so complicated you need a phd and a, a license and a one week course to be, just to be able to open the doors they would have two buttons one here one here just way too complicated this is just great it works and again these doors they work so nice i mean uh, see so you can just step out you can close them see so in one second they're closed and they work really well they're just firm good doors they're not gonna fall apart so easy to open, click, and you have loads of air uh, coming through. Chart table is great. Another good thing is when you're driving the boat from inside in bad weather, you could have a plotter here, autopilot remote. You can see so well out, you see? We have some shades here and in the inner shade, but if you put everything down, you can just drive the boat from here. And when you look back through these windows, you see, again, you just have a really good observation of what's going around. Now the kitchen, I think it's great, it's big enough. We have many fridges, four. Uh, here is the ice maker. And it just uh, works, you know, it's like, uh, it's good. And another thing is, we never hit each other on this boat. So all these passages, they're wide enough for two person to, you know, to pass by. Which is not the fact on the most of uh, the catamarans. So like, this is the mass support, and you see it's clean, it's nice. Now that we're cleaning it, it's just because nobody hits it. Uh, some other catamarans, they would have the mast backwards, so the support would be probably in between here. So you wouldn't be able to walk around. So very good uh, layout. Now this area, one of the best. So basically here is the table underneath. And you can very easily transform, very, very easily to put, uh, to put it up, to remove this. See, and you have a table. And it's a great spot. So you can have one, two, three, four people laying here uh, watching television. And it really works uh, really well. And then there is a pop-out television. So underneath here, you open this, and you have a button, and the television pops out. And it works really, really, really good. So now this boat has uh, four cabins, actually three cabins plus a uh, working shop. So the normal cabin would be just uh, like this. 
so it has a nice uh, shower and everything is fine so it's big enough you can fit and what I like is that there's no separate doors uh, for the shower so you just have one door you close this door and that's it you have a shower which is big enough which is good and then because there's no second door which are usually banging around you have better ventilation so you know all the moisture is gonna go out uh, way sooner now the cabin itself spacious it's good it's nice the bed could be a little bit longer you know my feet are a little bit over so it could be like this much longer and it's a lot of space so uh, why not otherwise you know loads of space we have a window here we have these screens and shades television fan we have air conditioning now this is a little bit clumsy so like how do you fold this like one here and that and then go up here and just doesn't work and all of the catamarans have most of them they have the same problem just no good solution another thing is if you want to sleep long in the morning because the party was long see all the light comes through so impossible to make uh, dark on this boat really like um, i just want to have some easy solution you know, like zip zip and i don't know why it's such a big uh, problem now going forward so there could be a cabin and there is uh, one extra toilet which would be used for this cabin uh, but there's no cabin now it's a workshop so we have a, a washing machine and we have a bunch of tools we really have a lot of tools so whatever you need we can fix a space shuttle we have everything it's all here it looks heavy but i guess it's good to have a bunch of tools electric tools a couple of batteries for the tools and more tools more tools you know, more tools here so it's a really good workshop we can fix anything more stuff in here and a very good stuff you have this storage which is made as a storage and you can fit a lot of stuff uh, in here uh, what i also like about this boat is the bilges because they're kind of clean and painted so this is the bilge you can see it's just not raw it's painted it's you can clean it nicely you can maintain it and you can go all the way in it's big enough that you fit in and you can do whatever you need to do repair um, or fix now going to the other side let's go to the front first there's another cabin so going down another doors i kind of like these sliding doors you just slide them and uh, you know they don't open i like it so this cabin let's see we have lights here you can see the bed is turned into this direction not back or forwards and i think it's a great cabin i would prefer the one we showed earlier maybe it's a little bigger volume but you know this cabin is big enough for two you know and i just think uh, it's a good cabin you know and then it has a huge uh, bathroom here see you can fit uh, many people into the shower so it's i think it's uh, it's good it's well built as a television there's the window so overall i would say it's pretty good so now going to the last cabin so this is the master cabin uh, it's a little bit bigger it's just great so there's another size another same size uh, uh, bed but it's the whole area is way bigger there's a big volume I don't like this so you just hit your head all the time and looking this direction you see there's a lot of volume and the bathroom itself is huge like you can you can fit the whole team rugby team in here and they can have a shower uh, like very spacious uh, it's just good uh, going up so one of the things I don't like is that see I hit my head here so it's a 50 footer you would expect you know be bigger and this is just decoration you see it's not doing anything this was my boat i would just cut this out i just expect you see like i have to go like like this just to get through but anyway otherwise i think it's a good boat it's very firm so overall you know i would say i actually kind of like this boat it doesn't happen many times i like this boat it's firm it's really good to go against the waves just cuts through the clearance so the height of the hull about the water between the hulls is high so it doesn't bang uh, and it's quiet boat it doesn't squeak you know like many other catamarans 
and I like it has uh, normal sails, so a big main, uh, no self-tacking, and overall, you know, just seems like uh, a solid boat. And of course, there's thing I would change. I would like to have more sail area. I would like to have a flybridge, and I would have to. I would like to have a little bit different layout here, you know. But uh, these are just probably personal preferences. Overall, uh, I kind of like this boat. Just as a, if you consider this as a live aboard, you have a comfortable. You know, like a house on the water, a capable house to go many places. I like it a lot and just love this area, you know. Overall, I think it's a good boat. Well, it's time to pull up the anchor, start the engines, and we're gonna go further north uh, on the Berry Islands. We're gonna go up there and there's a couple of great uh, spots. So we're gonna pick up our anchor, which is down there. Coming to a new anchorage, beautiful water, and there's a sunken sailboat. It's a wreck. And there's another Leopard 50. We've seen this boat on Nassau a couple of days ago. And here we meet again. And just great beaches. One there, and we have just passed down there. So I think this area is gonna be uh, very nice. It's a good anchorage here. Some sand. Like very nice place, like nice beaches. There's a wreck. Ah, that was a good boat. Well, this island is beautiful and there's palm trees, which usually are when the human is there. And you can see these chairs. This is a nice place. This is private property. It says no trespassing, private property. Somebody. Elias Key. Ah, this is the place to be, huh? <laughs> nice. This is nice here. Oh, the turtle. Oh, another one. There's a turtle. Oh, that's a strange fish. Yeah, that was a strange fish. It's all you need. It's a 36 footer. It's Endeavor Cat 36. And they were cat 46. It's not bad at all. So you can see the family of race. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty cool. And this is the house. It says, you welcome. And one man just came down. He probably wants to say, you welcome. Seems like a place you can have a mooring, maybe a restaurant. So what you see, this is not a rock. This is a conch shells. We thought it's rocks, but it's it's just conch shells. Like it's all a bunch of conch shells. And there's more down there. It's everywhere. Like all this place is just like a conch shell island.
I think it's been here just a couple months because there's not many algae. Uh, they have taken everything off this boat all except the toilet but you can see the winches are gone electron everything uh, that's worth anything is gone So now we were in uh, anchored here, so looking at this area, there's a better map. So all this, it's, it's very nice, you know, it's very nice. We were anchored uh, in here and that's a good spot. So now we went out and we're going to go all the way around the berries, which means we have to go up and now we have to go up and then we have to get around and anchor here because tomorrow we have strong winds. And then we're gonna go to the marina, Great Harbor Key Marina. We are now on top of the Berry Islands and here is this little island, which is a cruiser. So I checked Google Earth and the whole island is developed. There's the tons of slides. It actually looks uh, pretty attractive. And now we're gonna go round and down. That's where we're gonna anchor and then tomorrow we have a marina. And here you can see these super cool uh, water slides, like super high, and there's another one there. And yeah, this would be a fun place to be for a day. So yesterday we came around the Berry Islands, and we're gonna have like north winds uh, from now on, and we were anchored here. It's a it's a very good anchorage, big anchorage, uh, relatively good hold. And uh, but because we're getting even stronger winds, we just don't want to stand here. We're gonna go into this marina now. So we can see the marina is like this, so it's kind of easy to get in. It's minimum uh, more than two meters all the time, so easy for our catamaran. Uh, the anchorage uh, looks like this, you can see now the winds are picking up. And we are already quite far, so we were all the way up there, the, the furthest uh, boat. It was okay, but you can see here the waves developing. And because the wind just started and we're expecting way more wind, we don't want to bounce around there. We'll just go to Marina. The price for us is going to be $100 uh, for one night. So the passage just goes through there and it seems like very well uh, sheltered. So we're going to go through here and then everything's going to open. But now we're looking uh, for this passage. And if you look from here, it just goes through the rocks. So the passage is uh, right there. We're going to go in through. So this is it, uh, Great Harbor Key, Marina. And this looks like man-made channel, doesn't look natural. So we got to kind of a lake and we keep going down towards the marina. And this is the anchorage they say for a couple boats. And I kind of like this anchorage. Here's the marina. It's nicely sheltered. These houses are just blocking the wind so we're gonna be good. Another Leopard 45 here. I like this catamaran. 
Is this sea wind? I'm not sure. I just like it a lot. And I like this north winds because it's much, uh, it's like AC, it's much colder, no moisture in the air. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So you can come with the boat to this side, of course in good weather. It's just a big endless beach, long bay. Nice bar here. Ah, this is a nice beach. It's a big bay. You can anchor here in good weather. That would be a nice stop. So we are now sailing uh, towards Florida. So this is uh, Fort Lauderdale. So we just left uh, Berry Islands and we're just gonna sail deep water. And we have around 110 nautical miles left. And quite lucky with the winds. Around 14 knots of true wind speed, uh, 10 apparent. And we have a current, we have around one and a half knot of current uh, helping us, uh, which is really good. We have a code zero, a full main, and doing really well. I'm just talking quietly because everybody's sleeping. <clears throat> and the sea state is pretty good. Sails are happy. A uh, very nice uh, sail actually. Uh, we're gonna be in Florida tomorrow morning, probably early morning with these conditions. I thought we were in Bahamas. <laughs> yeah, <it's cool. laughs> this is how when you go home back to the winter, Florida. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we're getting uh, better and better, so the sun is slowly gonna go to bed. And we're doing pretty well. We still have around 60 knots of throwing speed. It's actually getting better and better because the waves from the old wind are going down so we have a uh, waves developing with this wind we're doing very good we still have a current around one knot see doing really well averaging around eight knots and we're slowly getting to florida so this fish here this is where we go we made it this is florida fort lauderdale you can see the miami down there and this is the sunrise so we just have a couple more miles and the dolphins came look at the dolphins the dolphins came to welcome us what a good look at this this is the best welcome you can have they're saying welcome home so we were sailing most of the night with the main and code zero until the code zero was gone and now it's here because the halyard shaved and broke you can see it just got cut on the pulley or somewhere bad design so the code zero was suddenly in the water in the middle of the night around the boat wrapped luckily somehow we managed to get it out in one piece uh, no damage to the boat no damage to the sail all good but it was not fun but we're home with the dolphins it was a nice trip